Hey everyone, it's up North Collectors here. We are opening up some Dunra Soccer 2022 or 2122, I should say. Uh, value packs. There's 25 cards in here, and as you can see from the previous footage, we got these at a restock at Meyer. Um, they had just value packs here. I know Target has blaster boxes or had blaster boxes online. They sold out, I think, pretty quick. Um, we have a couple of those coming. We thought we would do some of these value packs. Uh, I don't think these cards are selling all too great, at least not uh, the more common guys, but uh, this is always a fun release. There are some interesting cards in here, though. It's just really basey. Yeah, uh, very basic. To be honest, I, I'm just before my hunches that I would stay away from retail. Hobby boxes have fallen at release till around 300, 350. Um, and the kabooms in there are basically, I mean, the autographs too, like one uh, Howard, who was always at the Legend Show, pulled a um, Maradona auto out of one of his boxes. But for the most part, the autos are tough. Yeah. You're basically looking to get a kaboom. If you don't, they're tough. Um, so it's hard to know. Um, Dunner Soccer, like the base cards and stuff, don't really do very well. Topps Chrome was really the standard or Prism World Cup. Right. Um, but even the Prism World Cup stuff of like the not the first year stuff has really fallen off too. So uh, it's kind of hard to know how some of the stuff will do. We'll see once uh, the hype of the World Cup really starts and see how that goes. I mean, these are, you know, road to Mbappe. the uh, World Cup. 2022 it says on the you know, on the package obviously it's only january when we're doing this so long way to, to go before we get there yeah and that'll be in qatar which is cool middle east there yeah, there's a bunch of controversy do you remember that when they got the world cup there no yeah there's a whole bunch of controversy i don't remember why there's a hollow Berhuis. I'm not like the biggest soccer fan, but uh, some of these guys, it's a pretty cool elite series, and uh, Yamas Rodriguez, Pitch Kings. Um, some of these guys, I honestly could tell you that I have no idea who they are. Um, it's just because a lot of them, even if they do play on bigger clubs or whatever, are not like key guys. Just right. Because right. We'll it's such a... We do have a green velocity here. I don't yeah. know if those are. Those are. Some of them are the... numbered, so let's take a look at the yeah, back exclusives. real quick, actually. We're going to open up six of them. We have, I think, eight of them total, but we're going to open up six here. Um, so those are the exclusive ones, green velocity and pink velocity parallels out of these value I'm trying packs. trying to read it. I can't even read it. Yeah, it's very tiny print. And I don't think, they're, I don't think they're numbered, so. Uh, yeah, Jimenez is like the same pack we got last time. DePaul, Riquinhos, I know that name. We have a rated rookie green. That could be cool. I don't think there are, if I remember looking at the checklist, there are not any, like, huge name rookies in here. Yeah. Are, like, super, super sought after. Um, there's a couple of good guys, but overall. Is that a, uh, that's just regular, regular Raider rookie. That wasn't, yeah. do they have canvas in this like they do in uh, football? Mm, not going to say. Yeah. You don't I don't know. know. Uh, Pineda, Olsen. I, I mainly focus, like, in my soccer collection on top stuff. Right. So I haven't watched a ton of this, to be honest. Oh, that could be good. United States, Brian Reynolds, Green Velocity. Uh, yeah. Don't know who he is, to be honest. Defender. Defender. Kind of yep. tough. USA stuff will always sell well, though, around yeah. here, just because people are looking for him. He's not like a starter, though, as of right now, at least not that I know of. So Martinez and Allison. At one time, the U.S. was ranked super, super high in the FIFA rankings. Right. It's fallen right. a little bit. They lost some really easy qualifying games, kind of struggling, so... We'll see, hoping that they can pull it together and actually do something in the World Cup. That'd be really, really cool if they could. Yeah, it'd be awesome because they've had um, some decent teams and you know done okay for U.S., but never uh, advanced very far, obviously. Kai Havertz. And Silva. Mon, Kim, rookie. Uh, there's a Brendan Aronson. That's cool. Is that another green velocity? Uh, no, it's a green laser this time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that we have a. It's a nice one. Phil Foden, green uh, velocity. That's sweet. Those are sweet looking. Yeah. Phil Foden's rookie card was in the 2018 Dunruss set. That's one of his main rookie cards, along with the 19 Premier League Prism, I believe. So, that's a pretty cool one to get. He's pretty popular. Um, hasn't had you know the greatest season, but. 
he has been playing a little bit, getting more in the lineup and stuff. So he is a pretty solid guy uh, for the future that people really like. So and a Larice. <clears throat> All right, so let's see what we get in the second half here. These were uh, ten dollars per pack. Uh, so if you like this content, definitely hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do. We by no means are soccer experts, so you know. Please be kind to us in the comments below. Uh, but we have opened up soccer for quite some time, um, knowing the bigger names, but not all the names, obviously. In a set like this, there are a lot of guys. Obviously, Harry Kane, we know who he is. Um, but uh, it is definitely a fun, fun set. We do have one of the more sought-after um, jumbo boxes of this product sitting around but yeah the 18 Dunras soccer yeah 18 Dunras. uh that was jumbo right they were well they were they were just a hobby box weren't they did they, hobby boxes. they yeah, yeah they're just jumbo yeah just big big boxes uh lots of packs or lots of cards and per pack a jumbo light configuration yes but not called jumbo all right, so let us know, did you find these at a Meyer restock or on the shelf at your local uh, Walmart? The Walmart that's close to us actually had cards back out on the shelf before they were behind the customer service desk. So um, kind of interesting to see that. They did not have much of anything good, though, out on the um, floor. So don't know, don't know who, who he is. is, but... That is a sweet looking Green card. Do look really cool. Yeah, I mean, if if this set, because I know there's a couple of the good raid rookies in here, um, but like we already got Rodriguez, that. Rodriguez, right? yeah. Um, who's that? Um, Zapata. Zapata yep. Okay, it's not bad. Um, but some of the stuff is just to the point where, like, if you if you're going from opening up Merlin and UEFA Chrome, if you're right. a soccer guy opening that stuff, where you're getting a numbered card in every black, like the stuff yeah. is insane. I got like a Jude Bellingham auto out of it, which wasn't even like an uncommon pull. Like that kind of stuff to opening up Panini retail, where right. it's just a pretty low ceiling. If the Kabooms were in here, this retail would be much, much different, let me tell you. People would be opening up because Holland's first Kaboom's in there. Everybody wants that card. People would be opening this stuff like it's nobody's business. But because the Kabooms are not in retail, uh, it's going to make this a much tougher rip. Yeah, it's too bad they don't. Very low. Yeah, too bad they don't have a bigger chase uh, for retail like they do in some other products. You know, they do have exclusive retail numbered parallels. Um, yeah, which to like twenty five, but really, it, out of like a three hundred card base set, it's a, especially of like right. this caliber, it's going to be really tough to find. You know, one of those top tier guys. So they do look, the cards look great. And I, lo I love the fact that they do put in these chrome, the optics and the, the chrome finish um, cards in here. So it is pretty fun. I mean, it is fun to open these up and see what you can pull. There's a Rashford. I do like those. Those look cool. Yeah, those are cool. The power, power in the box. In the box. Um, so definitely fun to actually find some soccer out there because it's been a lot when's the last time we had soccer retail that we could buy at merlin. the store was it Mer yeah merlin no there's hardly any of that, that soccer stuff right. doesn't come out very no um top stuff is supposed to come out soon they're gonna make an actual tops base set this year i believe really it's like it just a regular tops uefa set which i'm looking forward to because uh, they so have really cool. uefa and they Bunda they sell bundesliga. they have uefa bundesliga and then um that's it. Yeah. UA yeah. Yeah. And MLS was the other thing that I was going to say. Oh, right. MLS. Yep. People, I mean, MLS is, this year's MLS is a little bit better because you had uh, Ricardo Pepe in there. Who right. really like. Um, and then what's his, the other guy? I can't remember his name. But yeah, there was a one. guy too. Yeah. But at the same time, it's not nearly as desirable as like their UEFA products. So. Was this the same guy we just pulled? Yeah. yeah. And we got another green coming up here. So this is the laser, Bruno in, Fernandez, Portugal. And the issue, like, even with, like, the... There's a nice one on Doku. Yeah. Um, but the issue with some of these sets that Panini makes, just from a value standpoint when you're opening them, from a World Cup product or a Euro League product or something, is your ratio compared to, like, the Champions League of getting good guys, good right, players, right. is pretty low. 
Um, just because, like, in the eight, if you go back and look at the 18 World Cup Prism set or the 14 World Cup Prism set, you have teams in there like a Panama or like a, right. um, you know, like a, the Ivory Coast or something. You get a team like that. A lot of those guys are not going to be in. Maybe they have one guy that yeah. plays in the Premier League or the, you know, or a lower level. But and they, right, they're and just not going to have the same collectability compared and, and to uh, compared to like a UEFA product where you know there's a lot of team collectors, a lot of guys like this stuff. So right, and the and the checklist was very different in the prism. They only had like if like for instance, England had more cards than like a Portugal, or yes. Portugal had more than England, or whatever. But it was like it wasn't like each team had ten cards, so it was it was very star heavy. Versus these type of products is obviously there's tons of base cards in here, and and not all superstar names. Yeah, and even those old ones, if you look back, they weren't that star heavy. If you go back and really go through them, true, but they really were not. But they were more so than the star. Yeah, right. So. Odds of pulling a star were, were a lot higher. Anyways, well, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, you liked this um, video. Obviously, something a little different. We do a lot of baseball, football, and basketball. Um, but we do like to break soccer when we can. Once again, we uh, love to hear your comments below. Tell us what we pulled that you thought was uh, you know, a good pull that we maybe didn't see or didn't notice. If there's something that we didn't notice, point it out to us. We'd love to obviously be better educated on the, the product. So thanks for watching. Uh, please, once again, like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. Have fun collecting. We'll be posting some more retail finds as we get them. So stay tuned for those videos. See you soon.